Hey everybody, Chris here at U Joint Off Road. One of my goals for 2023 is to do more videos, more technical videos, um, showing things on how we do them, why we do them, and to try best I can to show how our vans behave and perform. So this is gonna be a flex test. We're gonna measure the wheel travel of this van. Uh, this is a fresh build, six inch kit. It hasn't even left the parking lot yet, uh, but it's a good example of our standard stuff that we can check our suspension travel on. So um, the whole point of having four wheel drive to begin with is for traction. So um, I know the, it seems like the trends in the van world now with all the sprinters and transits is to show off these cool pictures of the tires in the air, but that's not cool to me because a tire in the air is a tire that's not doing what its job, which is to be speeding you up or slowing you down. So. Wheel travel is very important, especially when it comes to the four-wheel drive van world. So this this uh, van has our six-inch kit on 35s. I already know what the wheel travel number is, but I've never done it in video form. Uh, so here we go. So Steven is going to lift the right rear until the right, I'm sorry. He's gonna lift the right rear until the right front starts to come off the ground to show how much wheel travel we get in the front so he's gonna lift it up <clears throat> there it is all right so that's it the front right tire is starting to come off the ground so he's gonna bring it down just a little bit get a touch and he's gonna come around here and get our measurement our compressed measurement so we're gonna mark that then we're gonna reposition the forklift and lift it from the left rear to get our extended measurement so here we are fully stuffed on the driver's side. So you got nice clearance here. We're also gonna check the rear wheel travel while we're here. And he's gonna pull dimension on that right now too. Suspension travel is always your friend. It's another reason we only do six inch kits is you know when you're putting a van, an axle under these van chassis, um, it was never meant to be there. So the more lift you get, the more up travel you're gonna have. So of course there is a, a fine line with that. You don't want it, that doesn't mean that a, a 10 inch van or 12 inch lifted van is gonna give you that much more up travel and that much more wheel travel. But um, we found the six inch kit or our six inch kit is the best of both worlds. It's the best ride, best handling, best steering. Um, we do have the sway bar disconnected right now to do these tests. So now we're gonna reset to the driver's side. All right, now we're reset on the driver's side. So he's gonna lift this corner. We're just gonna get our extended dimension for this front driver's side. And our compressed for the rear. No track bar installed in this either. The track bar won't affect the travel. We just haven't put it in yet. We don't put them in until we drive the van, I don't know, 20 or so miles. Make sure the springs have done what they've needed to do. And here we are, extended on the driver's side. So he's gonna pull that dimension, we'll jot it down, and we'll subtract them to get our total wheel travel. Over the years, I've seen people measure this different ways. Um, I feel this is the most accurate to the real world. I've seen people measure with just the main leaf in, or you know, coil guys will just measure with no shock in, and that's great on a, on a suspension that moves like that. Um, but we feel this is the best way to real world test the wheel travel of these four wheel drive vans. So I'm gonna turn this off real quick and uh, take some pictures and then get back to you with the numbers. All right, so I've got the numbers crunched. Front wheel travel at the hub. You can see where we marked it. Got a mark on the fender flare and a mark on the hub. Front wheel travel, 15 and 3 eighths of an inch. Rear wheel travel is 11 and a half. So that is also, that's at the the face of the wheel. You can drive it, Steven. So that's it. Quick video on wheel travel and how these leaf springs flex. They flex good, but they also ride, steer, and handle excellent. So if you got any questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching, as always, and uh, have a great day.